want me to get ratchet. Niggas want me to attack it. Put the hood on, all the time, me catch it. Crunch it like Bob Saget. Pretty, I can't pass it. Eating everything, nigga, no fasting. I don't care how much you knew me in the past tense. I ain't no Julia Stiles, ain't no last dance. We pass it. Wait. What's up, besties? And welcome back to the channel. So today is Sunday fun day. Today is going to be our productive day. I'm trying to be a productive mommy as much as possible. I was pretty productive yesterday y'all I cleaned my room yesterday and I normally don't clean my room until Sundays because I just feel like Sunday is like your reset day like that's when you're supposed to reset for the week and da 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 but I feel like I like cleaning my room on Saturdays better because it takes me I don't want to say a while but I try to do like a deep clean so I'm cleaning stuff vacuuming putting stuff reorganizing and I just feel like it just felt really good to be able to get out the way and like I have the whole day to do whatever I want like I, I think I'm gonna do it on Saturdays from now on but y'all your girl is trying to get back on her stuff it's 2024 I think this is officially my first like vlog vlog of 2024 like recent like actually I'm doing stuff vlog the other vlogs I did were like my travel vlogs my birthday vlog and stuff um, which I hope y'all check that out we almost had a thousand views on that Puerto Rico vlog y'all make sure y'all run them views up and subscribe to your girl cuz y'all don't be subscribing that's one thing I wanted to talk to y'all about Y'all be looking at these videos and seeing me feeling the vibes and don't be subscribing. Subscribe to your girl. Go down there real quick while we talking and subscribe. Simple as that and it's free. We love free stuff. But yes, I'm trying to be on my healthy girl stuff, y'all. I actually did it last week. I didn't film it because it was just chaotic. I got I went to Puerto Rico, came back, went to New York, and I was just trying to get my shit together from them. But I did do some meal prep last week just because I'm like, I gotta get on my healthy stuff. Like, I hate when you get to a point where you're gaining weight that you can feel it you know what i mean like you can really feel the difference between like how you felt before and how you feel now like there's certain things that i do i'm like mm, this is uncomfortable there's certain things i'm like oh this don't fit the same like you know it's just certain little things that i have noticed that i'm like okay yeah we gotta get this weight off of us and there's just so many things i want to do that requires me to be kind of like a thinner weight so yeah that's what i'm trying to do i'm really trying to lose weight i did my first week my first week went really really good i just want to change out what i'm eating because i just feel like when we talk about diets and i'm not trying to do a diet i'm trying to do a lifestyle change we always like i don't know like the typical diet i think of is like white american diet like chicken vegetables and rice and when i tell you that's what i did last week and it was so boring like after a while the first time you do it it's not bad but then like when you hit day three day four it's like okay i'm tired of this where's the flavor where's the flavor in this really trying to get into a habit of like cooking good food like cooking cultural food because that's really what i like i love asian food hispanic food i like jamaican food i like just all types of food and i'm like dang like how can we incorporate that in a healthier aspect where i don't have to like you know limit myself to things but also we make it you know that's what i'm trying to do because how am i going to how am i going to sustain this diet y'all and I'm eating chicken, rice, and vegetables. It's not happening. So we're about to go in the grocery store right now. I'm only getting a few things because your girl's budget is low this week. I'm gonna go ahead and do my actual grocery order on Wednesday because I get paid. So today we're really just doing enough to last us like two to three days. Um, and I'm going in there pretty much to get protein. So I'm getting like turkey meat, I'm getting some eggs, and then I think I'm getting like some vegetables. I already have some turkey bacon at home. So it's not too much stuff I'm getting. We're really just going to get some quick stuff. Then we're gonna get our Dunkin' Donuts coffee and then we're gonna go home and prep all this okay definitely gotta grab these if you don't wipe off your mask is you're dirty <laughs> all right y'all so me in the grocery store i really don't need much like i told y'all i mainly just need meat vegetables and that's about it so let's find it y'all so i only ended up getting the chicken and the eggs because i forgot i had some turkey sausage left over in the freezer and i still have bacon in the freezer and i just had some broccoli i cooked some broccoli yesterday so i'm good on the veggies and on the other meat so we got some chicken because i'm gonna cook some chicken teriyaki with some uh, vegetable and rice eggs for my breakfast and we're good to go we about to go get this coffee let me tell you something they did their one with this one oh my god y'all this is what your girl ordered for her and it was so good y'all i'm telling y'all all right y'all so we made it home i'm about to whip me up some breakfast because i normally have breakfast at eight in the morning and it is currently 11 11 make a wish 
okay and i want to make some food before i start cooking so that i won't be tempted to eat the food that i'm cooking you know so we're about to whip us up real quick some eggs sausage um well not sausage eggs bacon and i don't know maybe some oats like i have some protein oats so i might do that too so we'll see all right y'all so i got my chicken cooking right now and i'm about to make a little sauce to go on the chicken just to make it taste a little better because last week's meal prep wasn't terrible but at the same time it just lacked flavor so what i'm about to do is combine barbecue sauce with a little bit of soy sauce put some ginger in here like ginger uh, powder and then add a little bit of honey to kind of make like the sweet kind of like I don't know kind of similar to teriyaki in a sense sauce and then we're gonna put that one here and let it marinate and we're gonna eat our breakfast burrito that I made so I just mixed up the sauce I tried my hardest to make it look as unique as possible but we're just gonna go ahead and put this one to the chicken so that it can kind of like marinate in it definitely has a barbecuey taste to it but it is what it is all right y'all so i'm back upstairs i am letting the food cool down and once it cools down we're going to actually like place them into their individual containers but i wanted to show y'all this really really quick because it is 2024 okay can y'all believe that we're like about to be in february baby where did january go okay where did january go i feel like that's the only disadvantage to traveling in january is because like you know the time that you're supposed to be doing your vision board and the time that you're supposed to be kind of figuring things out and creating your routine i'm in puerto rico sipping a pina colada on the beach i'm in new york having it up in, in manhattan and i'm not doing what i need to do so you know i kind of just now did my vision board last week literally last week i did it and i wanted to share with y'all kind of like my process of doing it i'm not gonna share with you my vision board because i don't believe in showing everybody your vision board before it happens because people are spiteful okay people are literally like not to say everybody like this i'm not saying everybody has ill intentions because some of y'all y'all to go for real but some people have ill intentions so i'm just saying that's, that's one of my big reasons behind why i don't show my vision board but i will show y'all my 2023 one because that one is already done with and i just want to show y'all like basically what your girl did what i accomplished and how i set it up so that your girl could accomplish it okay so for me personally you can do it how you want to i love to put my vision boards as my screensavers whether it's my phone whether it's my laptop whatever because i just feel like this is something i use all the time i'm an influencer i edit videos i do digital marketing i'm on this thing all of the time so I was like, bet, I'm going to create a vision board that can go on my computer, on my phone, wherever, just so I can, like, consistently see it. This is the kind of vibe I went for. I went for the collage vibe just because I feel like it's such a nice thing to open up, you know, in the morning or whenever and just see all of this beautiful blackness right here. A lot of the pictures that I do get, I outsource from Pinterest. I'm not going to lie to y'all, okay? Let's have this serious talk. As a black person, it is so hard to find static images, videos, anything of that nature of black people, okay? As a digital marketer, I've started my digital product business and stuff and I kinda wanted to really do like a faceless account, but it's like almost impossible to do a faceless account because all of the content I'm running across, static, not that whatever, videos, whatever, it is not black like it's all white and i'm just like dang like you know naturally as a black woman my target audience is everybody but i specifically target black brown women you know in general because that's my peoples i'm trying to get them hip to things and it has been so hard to try to find like pictures videos especially of black women and i'm like dang like it almost makes me want to create like a, a black like 
I don't want to say specifically black, but like a black platform where it's like y'all can go and y'all can find these UGC videos and stuff of that nature if you wanted to be a faceless content because it's impossible, okay? It's impossible. But let's get into this vision board. So for my vision board, I like a good combination of words. I love a combination of pictures just because I feel like sometimes picture doesn't do do it for me. Like I said, I feel like sometimes you need that motivational, you know, where I can read out and see exactly what it is. So let's start from this side. So this is 2023. A lot of what I have right here was just health. Like I really wanted to get my health together I wanted to be focused I wanted to focus on like acting and getting into that and learning more about that this is like I wanted to have my hair done y'all as a black woman you know I want my hair done because without my hair being done I don't feel complete so I really wanted to get my hair done a lot take care of myself more and then I have a lot of these like sayings where it's like be yourself um I have today I will nobody's coming to save you get up that's on my phone screensaver because that is the truth okay get your ass up ain't nobody coming to save you and do it for you get up get up get up Stop dreaming and start doing was one of the biggest things. Once we get towards the middle of here, I have like the YouTube thing. I really wanted to get, you know, get good on YouTube. I really wanted to start posting content consistently, which I'm happy that like this year I'm really doing that. Then a bit of black girl luxury traveling, which I did do some of that. Just being able to take care of myself, relax, eating good, you know, things of that nature. Getting into the gym, which I really, I ain't really do that much of that, but you know, we trying to, we going we gonna to do better this year. We're going to do better. Getting into film. This was a big thing that I did in 2023 was get more into film, learning about film, wanting to film my own short films, my own series and things of that nature. We have a lot of amazing things coming in this year. So make sure y'all go to the description and follow my film YouTube and my film Instagram because we have a lot of stuff coming. And then the last part of this is really just kind of like getting into the business aspect, like becoming a girl boss, you know, the film set again, this is Tyler Perry Studios and just really get into the money, okay? Get into the money is my main thing, was getting to the money, being healthy, traveling, like living life and starting to live life. I really wanted 2023 to be the year where it's like, I actually feel like I lived. Like I actually feel like I went out there and I did things and I tried new things and I explored. And I really genuinely will say like 2023 has been one of the best years of my adulthood yet because I had traveled. I went to Beyonce twice. I went to to um, DC. I went to Houston. I went to Nashville. I went so many different places. Went to Puerto Rico for my birthday. Then went to New York just now. I mean, this is 2024, but you get what I'm saying? Like I started to feel like I'm actually living life and I'm not saying traveling is like the the say, so all or say all for for living life everything else i feel like i really i really was able to accomplish because i made realistic goals that's the main thing make your goals realistic and to get into the realistic part so i made that one but i also made another one and i'm sorry that this is so long i just really want to get y'all hip i made this which has my vision board but it, i like split or took out the pictures in the middle and made this and what this basically was was the do part or or like what you're going to do part of my goals so like naturally i had goals but like I'd never established like what I was going to do to get those goals. And this was the first year, 2023, that I did that. And I think that's why 2023 worked out so good for me is I would put stack money and I'll put how I'm going to do that. Get your health together. How I'm going to do that. Network. How you're going to do that. And I like literally put exactly what it is that I was going to do. And so I think that helped a lot. But I also made it realistic. And that's the thing that I haven't done in previous years was like. I was reaching for the stars, baby. And it's nothing wrong with reaching for the stars. I think you should have a couple of goals on your um lists that are like kind of in a sense reaching for the stars but you can't have every single goal reaching for the stars because you have to be realistic as somebody that works a nine to five i can't do a whole bunch all day every day because i'm not at that part in my life where i have the luxury to spend my day and my hours how i want to spend them i have to dedicate eight to ten hours strictly on the concept of being at work you know just so to have some money in your pocket so you can pay bills and so you can fuel the other things that it is that you want to do so for me it's like you know, I had to be realistic in terms of like, what is it you're going to do? How are you going to do it? Etc. Because I'm just like, I hate to be in a predicament where all my goals were never met because all my goals were unrealistic. So definitely recommend <laughs> doing some realistic goals. I think the only thing I'm going to switch up because I'm not necessarily 100% done with my vision board. I haven't done this part is I'm going to split it up even more than I did right here. I'm going to split my goals up specifically on YouTube goals, music goals, life goals, school goals. Like I'm going to split it up even more um, just to kind of like help me out but yeah I just wanted to share that that was a lot that I was talking but I wanted to share that I'm about to go ahead right now and work on some of my digital marketing stuff I am creating a um like little free ebook kind of like an intro to digital like selling digital products to kind of give people more of an insight on how it works and things of that nature so that if they do want to invest you know even further within it they can so that's gonna be free I'll put the link in the description so y'all can go check it out if you're somebody trying to get into digital marketing and selling digital products. I started off on Etsy and people be talking shit about Etsy. 
child that's where i make all my money right now <laughs> okay is etsy so don't sleep on etsy okay it's a perfect to me a perfect platform for beginners truly so this is what they look like and they have like the little on the sides like this so it's airtight this is plastic but this part is glass which i really really like but we're just gonna go ahead and plate these in here and i'll show y'all the final product And just like that, we have our lunches for the week. As you can see, this doesn't have vegetables. I have to go get some more, but once I do, they'll go on this side. I like to have a decent amount, a little bit more than this actually even because, you know, you're supposed to get, I think like, what, two to four cups of vegetables a day, something like that. But I didn't really mess out the, the chicken last week. I did, I actually put four ounces exact in each and every one this week. I just literally was like, okay, one piece, two piece, three. Like I wasn't about to do all that this time. But um, yeah, so this is rice chicken broccoli rice chicken broccoli i do eat carbs still i i'm not really eating as much i mean i am going from a freaking fat diet where i was eating fried foods fat foods pretty much starches and stuff etc to this literally being like my main carb if not my only carb for the day so i'm not tripping when it comes to carbs or rices or anything of that nature um so yeah this is gonna be lunch and then i'm gonna try to go get a bag of vegetables while i'm out so that we can pretty much complete the rest of them as far as dinner goes i think i'm just gonna um do like i don't know maybe like some some bacon lettuce wraps or something i might get like a head of lettuce or something i don't really know i might do microwave meals for the next couple of days it doesn't really matter to me um as far as breakfast goes i don't know i think i might boil eggs so i might do hard boiled eggs and then do like um oatmeal like make a big thing of oatmeal and kind of just do something in terms of that i haven't really thought about it for real for real um, but I probably will boil some eggs and just kind of because I feel like that's a guarantee that I'm going to get protein in the morning compared to just no protein at all. But we're going to close these and put these in the fridge and I'm going to wash the last little bit of dishes up. And then we're going to go back upstairs and I'm going to try to work on that little planner some more. And then we're going to make some runs to go get the veggies and then to go drop off the Amazon stuff so I can get this credit. And real quick before I forget, so this is the brand of the Tupperware that I used, Nutra Chef Kitchen, NutraChefKitchen.com. I don't know if she got it off of here or if she got it off Amazon. I think she got this off Amazon. I'm not sure exactly how much it costs because I didn't buy it, but I really like these. It comes with a little message and then it comes with instructions on like how to use them, clean them, microwave or oven storage, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they're pretty decent to me. They're not too sensitive as of yet. I know they have like a couple of things saying certain things about like them cracking and stuff. If you use certain like super oily foods or da 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 da. So highly recommend them. I like them so far. They sell the food, the food tastes good. There you go. So your girl has yet to uh, start really working on this ebook because I just realized my first day of classes starts tomorrow. Y'all, every day I question myself for why the hell I decided to go back to school and get a graduate degree. Um, because, like, the amount of time a lot of this takes. Now, granted, this class doesn't seem horrible as of yet. My past two classes about broke me. I swear to you. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's just that I wasn't mentally in the space or that I was just trying to get adjusted to, like, working at this new place and being in school at the same time. I don't know what it was. This one doesn't seem as crazy necessarily um so i don't know i think for this one what i'm gonna do that i didn't do for the other one because it doesn't seem like it's an overwhelming amount of work is try to get as mi as much as this done as possible if i can get the whole thing done i will literally finish the whole thing so that i don't have to worry about you know anything else um but i am not ready for this i will admit i am not ready for this i'm really just trying to kind of figure out how to balance school how to balance um, social media, <laughs> digital marketing, um, as well as just like my health and just, you know, making sure I'm still meal prepping and stuff. Um, because, you know, like school took a lot of time for me. It took every day as well as the weekends for me because I had just so much to do, so many papers to write. That was the last two classes I had. I had ridiculous amounts of paper to write and to the point it was just like dang do y'all realize like we are working grad school students and we're not i don't have all this time in the day to write as much i mean it was just so much work and so much writing i was like 
are y'all serious right now? Um, so I'm hoping that this teacher is not like that. I really am hoping and praying. She says she do yoga. So I'm like, oh, maybe Shadi is zinned out. Maybe she's not, you know, unhinged like some of these professors are. Um, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I just want to stay on track. I want to be able to accomplish everything that I want to do. I really do. Like, I think sometimes like when I have like something that's super stressful, um, it tends to over or outshine everything else. Like it tends to be the main focal is like, you know, I'm like at school. It's like, I have to do this. I have to make sure I keep my GPA up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's just like, uh, when you go to grad school and you see you only have to take 10 classes, it's like, yeah, 10 classes. But you know, when you get into the reality of the situation and realize you got to work a nine to five and go to school and do a million other things, it's like, uh, I'm not ready for it, y'all. I'm not ready for it, but ready or not, here we come. Mm hmm Yeah, here we come. So, but I'm just gonna work on this digital plan um for the rest of the night as much as I can. I try I'm going to sleep or I try to tell myself to go to sleep by nine o'clock so that I have plenty of rest so that I can get up in the morning and not like get up in the morning, get dressed and go to work. Like I can kinda like, you know, relax a bit a bit, a little bit, chill out and stuff. So I'm gonna work on this because when I get to work tomorrow. Um, since we do have a work day and stuff, I'm going to do some work, but I also want to work on some homework and get as much out of the way as possible. I only have 24 hours of access to this book because she's using Cengage and they only give you so much access to the book. So I have 24 hours to access the book to do as much homework. I think I'm going to do the homework for next week and the week after just so I can be like two weeks ahead. Um, and then when I get paid, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the book. Um... And go from there, y'all. I'm just trying to be on top of my stuff. I just can't be doing this no more, y'all. But I think I'm going to end the vlog right here because I have nothing else that I'm about to do, y'all. Y'all done seen everything. We meal prepped today. I showed y'all my vision board. I'm currently working on some digital marketing stuff. I actually probably will film a video. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or I'm going to do it tomorrow about basically how to start a digital product business and stuff for those who, you know, are not trying to necessarily invest and they want more information on it. This guy that I'm making is a perfect guy for it as well as I'll make a video just talking about it as well. Um... Yeah, so make sure y'all follow the Instagram. The Instagram is down in the description box. Make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe to your girl, okay? Y'all don't be subscribing. Y'all be seeing the video, rocking with the video, liking, all of that. Comment. Subscribe to your girl. Come on, y'all. We trying to get this channel popping, up and popping, so your girl can be a full-time content creator, and I can give y'all more content, and not have to worry about this, this stressful 9 to 5, y'all. <laughs> but I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's so many more vlogs, so many more videos coming. It is 2024. I'm, I'm on my stuff right now. Like, my editing, I think I'm just me and CapCut. We go together real bad. Um, and I think that's been helping me a lot with editing. So, yeah, y'all. These vlogs about to be going up like this. <laughs> Love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.